Hey guys, for this video we're going to take a look at and do a little unboxing of this brand new laptop that I just picked up. This is the Acer Predator Triton 500 SE and I did a lot of research on different laptops before finally pulling the trigger on this one and I'm hoping to be really happy with it. It hits all the marks as far as things I was looking for. Obviously I make videos like this. This is what I do for a living. So I need a high powered laptop that can do video editing. A lot of people are probably buying it as a gaming laptop, but it's gonna be able to handle all of that as well. So let's go through just a few of the specs and then we'll get it opened up and see what we think. This has an Intel i9-12900H processor GeForce RTX 3080 Ti graphics card. It also has 16 gigabytes of VRAM. It's a 16 inch display, 240 hertz, 32 gigabytes of RAM, a one terabyte SSD. My old laptop, it's five years old and it has an i5 and I use DaVinci Resolve for all my video editing and it is impossible to edit on my old laptop. It could not do it. so upgrade was a necessity for me personally also the old laptop only had 250 gigabytes of space I found myself constantly having to delete things and just find where I could create more space 250 gigabytes was not enough for me when you're shooting a bunch of HD videos it eats up space quickly so the one terabyte should be much better off and the dedicated RAM is a must-have for gaming and video editing if you don't have that you're just not going to get good playback in either scenario so that's that let's open this thing up see what comes in the box and what we think of it initially first thing we have a box with the charger so we have the power cord here and it has a barrel connector for the charger here's the charging block and actually this has an output of 230 watts big time in there all wrapped up in a little gift box looking guy here and there we go nice little initial presentation huh bam we got this little card in the bottom here and that's just some basic paperwork from Acer so here is the laptop if we look on this side here we have the barrel connector for the charger we have an Ethernet port. I really wanted a laptop with that so I didn't have to rely on Wi-Fi and can actually plug it in when I am uh, in that kind of situation. We have a regular USB-A port there. We have a USB-C port and we have the headphone jack. You can see along the front, there's nothing there. And if we come around to the other side, we have our HDMI port, another USB-C, another USB-A, and another thing that I really needed is the SD card reader. Make my life a little bit easier with that. We also have the lock on that side as well. The inaugural opening of the laptop. Ta-da! Well, look at all the flashing lights dancing. This does come with Windows 11. So initial setup is about what I expected from <laughs> five years ago when I got my last new laptop. Country, language, connect to the Wi-Fi, check for updates. As part of the setup process, it looks like it says your settings and OneDrive files are synced to this PC and you'll get a chance to restore apps from your previous PC once you finish your device setup. Restore from desktop last synced on Friday the 14th, so that was just a couple of days ago. Let's see what happens. And for our privacy settings, we say no to everything. Well, there it is, guys. Five minutes later, we're all set up and ready to run. Looks like we're going to have to go through and uninstall a few things. There's a Dropbox promotion. I don't use Firefox. We'll uninstall that. 
I noticed there was like Excel and PowerPoint, some Windows products that I'm not going to use. We'll have to see what all we can uninstall. And this is my first time with Windows 11, so uh, I might have to do some searching on how to tweak it to, to make it better. So there it is, guys. That's the unboxing and initial setup of this laptop. I have high hopes for it. I'll do an update after I've used it for a little while and let you know some more in-depth thoughts. Thanks for watching.